the book of Joshua, chapter 12. These are the kings of the land whom the children of Israel defeated, and whose land they possessed on the other side of the Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon to Mount Hermon, and all the eastern Jordan plain. Our king was Sihon, king of Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled half of Gilead from Aror, which is the bank of the river Arnon, from the middle of that river, even as far as the river Jabbok, which is the border of the Amorites, and the eastern Jordan plain from the Sea of Chinneroth, as far as the Sea of Arabah, the Sea, the Salt Sea, the road to Beth, Jerish, Jer, Jeremoth, and southward below the slopes of Pig, Pisgah. The other king was Og, king of Bashan, and the territory who was the remnant of the giants who dwelt at Ashtaroth and, and at Edari, and reigned over Mount Hermon, over Selka, over all Bashan, as far as the border of the Gasherites and the Mehakathites, and over half of Gilead to the border of Shihon, king of Heshbon. These Moses and the servant of the Lord and the children of Israel had conquered, and Moses the servant of the Lord had given it as a possession to the Reubenites, the Gadites, or the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel conquered on this side of the Jordan, on the west side from Baal Gad, in the valley of Lebanon, as far as Mount Halak, and the ascent to Seir, which Joshua gave to the tribes of Israel as a possession according to their divisions. In the mountain country, in the low lands, in the Jordan plain, in all the slopes in the wilderness, and in the south, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, the king of Jericho, one, the king of Aii, which is beside Bethel, one, the king of Jerusalem, one, the king of Hebron, one, the king of Jarmuth, one, the king of Lachish, one, the king of Eglon, one, the king of Jeshur, one, the king of Dibur, one, the king of Geder, one, the king of Hormah, one, the king of Arad, one, the king of Libna, one, the king of Adulam, one, the king of Machedeth, one, the king of Bethel, one, the king of Tapua, one, the king of Hepher, one, the king of Af Afek, one, the king of Lasharon, one, the king of Madan, one, the king of Hazor one, the king of Shimron, Miron one, the king of Atchaf At one, the king of Tanak one, the king of Megiddo one, the king of Kadesh one, the king of Jachnim in Carmel one, the king of Dor in the heights of Dor one, the king of the people of Gilgad, Gilgal. One, the king of Terza, one, all the kings, thirty-one. Now, the book of Joshua, chapter thirteen. Now Joshua was old, advanced in years, and the Lord said to him, You are old, advanced in years, and there remains very much land yet to be possessed. This is the land yet that yet remains all the territory of the Philistines, all and all that of Gasherites, 
from Shehor, which is east of Egypt as far as the border of Akron, norther, northward, which is counted as Canaan, Canaanite, Canaanite, the five lords of the Philistines, the Gazites, the Ashdodites, the Ashkelonites, the Gittites, and the Akronites, also the Avites. On the south, all the land of the Canaanites, 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 the Mira that belongs to the Shidoans as far as Athpec to the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gebelites, and all the, and all Lebanon toward the sunrise from Baal Gad below Mount Hermon as far as the entrance to Amma. All the inhabitants of the mountains from Lebanon as far as the brook Misripoth and all the Sidonians, then I will drive out from before the children of Israel, only divide it by lot to Israel as a as an inheritance as I have commanded you. Now therefore divide this land as an inheritance to the nine tribes and half the tribe of Manasseh. With the other half tribe the Reubenites and the Gadites received their inheritance which Moses had given them beyond the Jordan eastward, as Moses the servant of the Lord had given them from Aror, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the town that is in the midst of the ravine and all the plain of the Medi Medeba, as far as Dibon, all the cities of Shion, king of the Amorites, who resigned in Heshbon, as far as the border of the children of Ammon, Gelred, or Gilead, and the border of the Gasherites, and Machathites, all the Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, as far as Salka. All the kingdom of Og in Bashan, who resigned as Ashtaroth and Adari, who remained of the remnant of the giants for Moses, had defeated and cast out these. Nevertheless, the children of Israel did not drive out the Gasherites or the Machathites, but the Jezerites and the Machathites. Thites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only to the tribe of Levi had he had given it no inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said to them. And Moses had given to the tribe of the children of Reuben an inheritance according to their families. Their territory was from our Aror, Aror, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the ravine, and all the plain by Medeba, Hashbon, and all the cities had that are in the plain, Debon, Bamath, Baal, Beth, Baal, Maon, Jahaza, Kedemoth, Meth, Methael, Mephaya, Kerjathim, Sibma, Jereth, Shehar, on the mount of the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jerishma, all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Shion, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, who Moses had struck with the princes of Midian, uh, Evi, Rechem, Zer, Hur, and Reba, who were princes of Shion, 
dwelling in the country, the children of Israel also killed with the sword Balin, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, among those who were killed by them, and the border of the children of Reuben was the bank of the Jordan. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. Moses also had given an inheritance to the rise of Gad, to the children of Gad, according to their families. Their territory was Jezer, and all the cities of Gilead, Gilead, and half the land of Amorites, as far as Aor, which is before Rabbah, Rabbah, and from Hashbon and Ram, Ramath, Miz, Mizpah, and Betumen, and from Mahanaim to the border of Dibur, and in the valley Beth Haram, Beth Nimrah, Sakath, and Zephon, the rest of the rest of the kingdom of Sion, king of Heshbon, with the Jordan as its border as far as the edge of the city of as the Sea of Generath, on the other side of the Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad, according to their families, the cities and their villages. Moses had also Moses also had given the inheritance to half the tribe of Manasseh. It was for half the tribe of the children of Manasseh, according to their families. Their territory was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, sixty cities, half of Gilead, Gilead and Ashtaroth, and Edari, cities of the kingdom, kingdom of Og, in Bashan, were the four, were for the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, for half of the children of Machir, according to their families. These are the areas which Moses had distributed as an inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side of, Jor of the Jordan, by Jericho eastward. But the tribe of Levi, Moses, and had given no in inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he had said to them. The Book of Joshua, Chapter 14 these are the areas which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar, the priest of Joshua, the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed as an inheritance to them. Their in inheritance was by lot, as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and the half-tribe for Moses had given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half-tribe on the other side of the Jordan, but to the Levites he had given no inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and they gave no part to the Levites in the land, except cities to dwell in with their common lands for their livestock and their property, as the Lord had commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kinezite, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Bar Barne Bar Barnea. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought back a word to him as it were, as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day 
saying, Surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, and has kept me alive, as he said, these forty-five, uh, forty-five years ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now here I am this day eighty-five years old, as yet I am as strong as this day on the day that Moses sent me, just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war both for going out and for coming in. Now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day, for you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, and that the cities were great and fortified, but it may fortified it may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb the son of Jephunneh, Je- the son of Jephunneh, as an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, to this day, because the, he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel, and the name of the Hebron formerly was Kirjath Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim. Then the land had rest from war. The book of Joshua chapter 15. So this was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. The border of Edom at the wilderness of Zin southward was the extreme southern boundary and their southern border began at the shore of the sea, Salt Sea from the bay that faces southward. Then it went out to the south, southern side of the ascent of Akrabim, passed along to Zin, ascended on the south side of Kadesh, Barnea, passed along to Hezron, went up to Adar, and went around to from there it passed toward Asmon and went out to the brook of Egypt. And the border ended at the sea. This shall be your southern border. The east border was the sea, salt sea as far as the mouth of the Jordan. And the border on the northern quarter began at the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan. The border went up to Beth Hagla and passed north of Beth Arabah, and the border went up to the stone of Boan, the son of Reuben. Then the border went up towards Debur from the valley of Achor, and it turned northward toward Gilgal, which is before the ascent of Adumin, which is on the south side of the valley, the border continued toward towards the water of En Shemesh, and ended at En Rogal, and the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom to the southern slope of the of the Jebusite city, which is Jerusalem. The border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom, westward, which is at the end of the valley of Rephaim, northward. Then the border went around from the top of the hill to the fountain of the water of Nephtoah and extended to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border went around to Baala, which is Kerjath Jerium, Jerivan. Then the border turned westward from Baala to Mount Seir, passed along to the side of Mount Jerium on the north, which is Chesalon, which down 
to Beth Shemesh and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out to the side of Akron northward. Then the border went around to Shekron, passed along to Mount Baal, Baala, and extended to Jadneel, Jadneel, and the border ended at the sea. The west border was the coastline of the great sea, which is the boundary of the children of Judah, all around according to their families. Now to Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he gave a share among the children of Judah, according to all that all to according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, namely Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron Arba, was the father of Anak. Caleb drove out the three sons of Anak from there. Shishia, Shishayat, Shishai, Shishai, I don't know, Ahaman and Talmea, the children of Anak. Then, the, then he went up from there to the inhabitants of the Deber, formerly the name of Deber was Kirja Sefer. And Caleb said, He who attacks Kirjath, Sefer, and takes it to him, I will give it Aksa, my daughter, as wife. Othnael, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Achsa, his daughter, as wife. Now it was so when she came to him, that she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. So she dismounted from her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you wish? She answered, Give me a blessing, since you have given me land in the south. Give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. The cities at the limits of the tribe of the children of Judah, which children of Judah toward the border of Adam in the south of were Kabzeel, Ed, Eder, Jagger, Kina, Demo, Demona, Adoda, Kedesh, Hazor, Ethnan, Zeth, Helen, Baal, Loth, Hazor, Hadata, Kiriath, Hezron, which is Hazor, Amon, Shema, Mulada, Hazar, Gada, Ashmon, Beth, Helit, Hash, Hazar, Zua, B. Beersheba, Bishjah, Jah, Baela, Ijem, Ezem, El Tolad, Chizil, Horma, Ziklag, Mad Mana, Sansana, Leboath, Labael, Shilhim, Ain, and Rimon. All cities of are twenty nine with their villages. In the lowland, Eshtael, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, and Ganim, Tapua, Anam, Jarmuth, Adulam, Soka, Aska, Sharim, Adathain, Gedera, and Gedarathain, fourteen cities were th their villages. Zenon, Hadasha, Meg Megdal, Gad, Dilian, Mishpah, Jokil, Lakish, 
Boshkath, Aglon, Kavon, Lamas, Kithish, Gedaroth, Bethdagon, Naamah, and Makada, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, Esser, She Ashan, Zesta, Ashna, Mazib, Kiola, Akzib, and Mersha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with its towns and villages, from Akron to the city, Ekron to the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with its towns and villages, Gaza with its towns and villages as far as the brook of Egypt and the great sea which and the great sea with its coastline and in mountain country Shamir, Jatir, Soka, Dana, Kurjath, Sana, which is Deber, and Anab, Ash Temo, Anem, Gashin, Polon, and Giliho, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, Duma, Eshion, Janum, Beth Tepua, Akka, Umta, Kurjath, Ara, Kurjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, Zith, Jutah, Zethriel, Jokdim, Zanoa, Cain, Zibia, and Tema, ten cities with their villages, Halu, Halu, Beth Zur, Idor, Merath, Beth Anna, Anoth, and Eltikon, six cities with their villages, Kurja Baal, which is Kurja Jeum, and Re Rabbah, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness of Arabah, Midian, Sek Sekaka, Nibshan, the city of salt, and and get a cities, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwelt dwell with their children of Judah at Jerusalem to this day. Wow, uh, this chapter was, well, this whole day has been a rough reading. Um, definitely this last uh, chapter, chapter 15. Bunch of names, but you know what? I'm just reading the Bible all the way, all the way through the whole year, and that's part of the homework. Reading the Bible, getting through all the hard names, which I, of course, butchered. But um, I'm just proud that I am able to push through and get to continuing to read the Bible all the way through the year. So if you stuck around, I apologize for the butchering of the cities. Uh, I have no idea if any of it was correct or not, but it was still a tract on getting what I needed to get done. I hope you had a have I hope you have a great morning, afternoon or evening, depending on what part of the day you're listening to this. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye now.